planning is it anyway? She's a fantastic planner here in New York City. Please welcome my guest, Sushil Gonzalez. Hi, Hi. So good to have you. Thank so you. Nice now, we hang out at all sorts of parties together. She's always got amazing uh, things going on. We never actually get a lot of time to sit down and chat. I know, so I'm excited nice to have you. you. Thank you. Now, you are like New York City born and bred, and you love this place. I love it. I love it. I think I feel like I'm kind of the quintessential New Yorker being born and raised here. And a lot of my clients come here because they want to have New York as the backdrop. It's almost like a co-host to their wedding. We integrate it into a lot of our invitations, our uh, stationery, and even when people don't want necessarily a New York look, we can take them to scenes like this, a city park, that it feels like you're in the Hudson. This is Fort Tryon Park. Oh, it's all the way uptown, and you look down into the Hudson Valley, you'd never even know that you were in Manhattan, and it enables us to do these romantic, gorgeous centerpieces. This is actually by Fleurs, and it's just... You would never, you feel like you're in a French chateau and not even in the big city, but you didn't have to leave the island. That is what we have at our, you know, and I live in Brooklyn. I look out at the Brooklyn Bridge and know that's a favorite, a favorite thing of yours. If I could so. give the Brooklyn Bridge a hug every day, I would. I love it. So whenever I can incorporate it, I do. Here in New York City, it is the symbol of the city. So that is very fun. Now, you're going to tell me, you know, we have like five, you know, secrets from Sochiel is what we're saying, basically. <laughs> Some of the things, one of the things that you think make your weddings uh, so inspired, I want you to take us through them. Now, the first one is all about ice. So talk to us about that. Ice is very nice. It doesn't need to mean luges. It doesn't need to mean you're on a grand and ice. This is a wedding where we wanted to do something completely different and dramatic. She was involved in the arts. And so we encapsulated flowers in cubes of ice that we illuminated as centerpieces. And guests were just stunned when they, they walked into stunning. the room. They're actually silk flowers because they would of otherwise course. crack the ice. Funny. Here's a chance where we use, uh, an opportunity where we use ice as a vase. Um, so these are real flowers and they were just, instead of a glass vase, we used ice. Um, they have little moats around them so you don't have to worry about flooding your table. And this is an escort card piece that we did for a winter wedding. This is cuter than not. And it's actually a log encrusted with ice with branches, dripping oh crystals. Oh, that's and a log, and there's like a yes, birch log. Yeah, oh, it's a amazing. birch log, and it really just set the tone for like, you're at this gorgeous winter wedding, it feels ethereal and Yeah, dreamy. so this is like way beyond the swans. Basically. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah. Think beyond swans. <laughs> okay, so another thing you say is like, don't think of the, like, when you're going seasonal, which is such a great inspiration, but to like, kind of go beyond your standard As, You know, especially I think with uh, holiday time, fall, we right. often think pumpkin, 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 and yeah. the, you know, I like to think about jewel tones. Here we use lilac, and a kind of a cherry red, and it really said autumn without having to scream Halloween. Um, you know, and this is an opportunity, actually just a couple weeks after that wedding, where we took pumpkins, and we took all the orange pumpkins, and we spray-painted them silver, oh, and then we used bleached white pumpkins, and we scattered the little white pumpkins on the table, so it felt harvest-like without saying Halloween, I like autumn. And yeah, it's, it's a little trite. It's a yeah. subtle way to like kind of say the same thing. And then it's, it's to bring in the color, we use these awesome glasses, these Moroccan colored glasses to like just wow. punch in the glass. And I think there's something about that jewel tone that does say autumn. Jewel tones are so hot now, too. Yeah. I think that that is the inspiration. If you're planning a wedding later for this year, it's perfect for even you can even do it in the summertime, but certainly fall through winter. So saturated. So, this is a wedding actually where the bride and mother collected antiques. And so, we really use the vessel to inspire all the arrangements. These are vintage motor oil cans. Oh my gosh. And we so put funny. in one amaryllis per container, and it really just blew out the entire escort card display. It was like really dramatic. Where, and we let the container inspire us. As a matter of fact, this bird cage was at the venue, and we sort of were thinking, what can we do like uh, <laughs> with the bird cage? It's just like, I really want doves. We've got olive branches. So, we got the doves. The doves came home with me that night. Yeah. It's one of the wacky stories about being a <laughs> planner you end up having birds in your house all night <laughs> whatever it takes just like the best bridesmaid takes, would exactly <laughs> and um and also uh you love creative cakes they're a punchline to the wedding they are i think that they can be dramatic but they can also be whimsical and fun um this actually the same wedding we had a cake buffet and we had this tons of cakes funny. in that this was adorable they love ladybugs and so it was a, a kind of a way to do cupcakes with uh, having a little bit more fun with it. It doesn't always have to be that serious. Yeah, um, fun and and it, Exactly. It's totally fun and quirky. And this is actually a great way to do a bunch of cake. You could do a buttercream cake, have your florist bring some extra of whatever your blues are. And then we just took a pattern ribbon that kind of went with the theme of the wedding itself. And it that does not look stunning. budget at all. No, it but fantastic. it's a great way. Yeah, you know, fresh flowers. A, a really, it's a, a, a fresh flowers. And I love those ribbon borders. It's a fantastic way to do just kind of in New York, go to M&J trimming and do that 
here is um, th- this is just a, I think a, uh, our final tip. Our final right. tip. Sorry, I'm not giving you your lead in here. <laughs> our final tip is about go bold with your lines. I think everyone immediately thinks like, oh, I'm thinking no cream or pink or, and you say, get out there, have some attitude. So. Get out there, totally. Don't be afraid of using some color. It says a lot. It's a great way. For it to economically have a lot of personality with your wedding. Okay, and I think you brought some for us. Are you showing how different things that we're going to do a little demo for you? Here. Yes, so here we have a, this I think is like fun, preppy, like kind of funky. It's a little wedding. velvet. It's actually, I think it's your color, one of your uh, favorite colors. Your, yeah, I yeah, know it's nice. a mint and black, which I think is on the pole Great. for next week. Okay. And then right. with the quick flip, we could do something really kind of almost ethnic inspired. I love this linen. It's got a brocade, it's really glam, but it could also say Indian, if that's kind of a theme that you're incorporating into the day. And you could even, with bold linens, you could even go more simple with your flowers and Absolutely. stuff, so it could be money-saving Absolutely, and to get the same impact. I think for daytime weddings, <gasps> this where is so pretty. you don't yeah. have to worry about mm-hmm. lighting, but you need something to add a little bit more personality. Wow. I love this, it's a little nautical, it's a little bit preppy, and you know, I, it's so funny, like just a simple candelabra with a couple of breakaway pieces, and you've got a gorgeous looking table. And it's great, these are really good tips. Thank you so much. Thank it's you. So it's great so to have you here. Thank you. Yeah, okay, more. There's always more tips when you're planning your wedding at uh, the knot.com slash wedding style.